Welcome back to the Polishing Podcast. We've got another riveting episode here. My name's Nico All Powerful, joined as always, as most times, by my co host, Pixelated Apollo. <laughs> I like how you went from as always to <laughs> as most. Yes, I'm back. He's here. I'm here. Uh, after a long absence it's been like one episode as far as i remember uh well, that's long damn it <laughs> well now that we do it every by month not by monthly that'd be every other month jesus by weekly instead of every week yeah it's it's decent it's a decent amount of time for the yeah, new ones fair. Fair. Uh, and uh you know before we got the podcast going we were talking about air conditioning uh because we we are very um lively and wild spirits that cannot be contained no we we talk about the stuff that a lot of people don't talk about <laughs> the things that matter most to us yeah. like air conditioning. <laughs> air conditioning and comfort in our own homes but uh, <sighs> getting old nico i'm getting old <laughs> I knew I was getting old when I was like, hell yeah, let's go furniture shopping. And then I went, wait, what? (laughs) And then I was like, you know, you're getting older when you're like, oh, I just got a new place. Let's buy some shit for it. And then you're like, you get all of your like, uh, not cabinets. What the fuck am I thinking of? A dresser and you get your bed frame and you get your couch. You're like, all right, time to put this together. It's going to be great. And then. Even though we shopped from Ikea, I never got frustrated because I didn't accidentally assemble anything wrong. I know that's a meme with Ikea furniture where it's like, oh, you accidentally put this piece on backwards and now you got to start all over and it took you six yeah. hours. I'm like, yeah. guys, read the instructions better. Um, it, they're, it, they're not that badly labeled. <laughs> they're not, but, you know, since they don't use a language, um, they can be kind of confusing. Yeah, that's fair. The only language you see on it is what the item is, and it's like Fjordorger. And you're dinga like, dinga. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know what this is, but I want it. Yeah. It's like, I can't pronounce this name, but it needs to be in the corner of our living room. Uh, anyway, enough about furniture. This is the Polishing Podcast, and we talk about games and random shit. So it's not yeah. that bad. We talk about whatever we want. It's, it's, You're going to sit here and listen and enjoy it, god damn it. Well, they might be working out. Oh. They, they might be driving to work. No, you should be sitting in a chair looking <laughs> at a blank wall <laughs> listening to this. Oh, my God. Just the mental image of someone being like, well, fuck, and then get up, get in a chair, and scoot toward a wall and just be like, all right, here we go. The prime <laughs> polishing podcasting position. Oh, God. I feel obligated to turn and look at the wall now. Uh if we have to sit here and stare at nothing, you do too. No. Uh, but so since it's been a little bit and unfortunately last episode was E3. That's not the unfortunate part because what I like games. Uh, the unfortunate thing is there was no banner lord anything, even though they they <laughs> said they were going to be at E3 and I saw no one talk about anything. So I, was that uh, a lie? Did somebody miss here that they were going? Like the studio was going, but they didn't. Is it possible that? to go, but like not have any stage time? Or I mean, you can go like as a developer and like as people well, yeah, in the like, industry can. Like, can you have like a booth somewhere or something? And... Um, I don't know, because most of the games that got either talked about or shown either had um behind the like behind closed doors demos and stuff shown or they had stuff out on the floor but i've like during that last two weeks ago the last time i recorded this i looked for banner lord stuff and i didn't see anything so it seems like maybe they went to like just you know they were like let's go to e3 let's see whatever the people are working on but they didn't actually bring anything with them i don't know no well apparently the my lead admin of uh, calls arms uh, for Mountain Blade and stuff. He said he went to E3 and he said that he was going to be able to play it. Hmm. So I don't know if he played it because he didn't get back to me. Because I feel like if you play it, you know, you'd be like, dude, just played it. It yeah. was awesome. But he didn't say anything. So that... maybe they weren't there. Who uh, Who's the lead admin again? Cardboard Box. 
humble wait no that's not a humble brag that's a shout out whatever um shout out. <laughs> no shout outs please um don't you don't advertise anyone else on this podcast please for the love of god uh no i'm just kidding um yeah that's I, that's weird like because i remember hearing stuff i don't know i know for a fact they're going to gamescom and they said they're gonna have their new um multiplayer mode playable there the one where it's like 4v4 like 5v5 4v4 like it's more tactical and like um like player on player focused instead of like big battle it's like more like i can't remember what it was called but they they announced that like a couple months ago that mo- that mode the new mode where and they were like oh we're going to have a like a closed beta of sorts for this maybe yeah. they'll announce in gamescom that it's like oh here's the thing people can play it also closed beta here sign up here blah 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 um but i remember that yeah this is all speculation who knows they could go to gamescom and be like no we didn't bring anything again and then just flip everyone off um which would break so many hearts yeah you know i feel like you know padme (laughs) right now like you- Every day that goes by that uh, the game doesn't come out, <laughs> you're breaking my heart. <laughs> so you're dying. <laughs> Bannerlord, you're breaking my heart. And you're dying of a yeah. broken heart. Yeah. Get him much. a box of kittens, stat. It's a cruel world, you know? Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Would- yeah. God, you got it good if you're if you're like <laughs> your video game's not out and you're like it's a cruel world. <laughs> Fuck, this game has been so worked on for like what six years or some shit. It's like still not out. And that's if that's all you're worried about. Good on you, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. You're not like man, I can't afford food today. It's like ah, yeah. Bannerlord's still not out. It's just so funny how little trivial things can ruin people's day in the you know first world societies yeah it's uh it's uh you know what is bad to you is a matter of circumstance and what's the word i'm looking for uh context some things are not as bad for other people right right like i don't get annoyed by waiting in line because i don't have i'm like whatever i'm not in a rush and then there's a karen behind me being like i need to speak to everyone's manager I shouldn't be waiting. Look at my fringe haircut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, oh God. No banner lord anything. Um, shit. My brain got completely sidelined for a second there. Uh, so, since you've been gone. Since Kel- you've been gone. <laughs> I was just about to say Kelly Clarkson 2000 whatever. Um, how have you been i've been good i've been good um mm-hmm. i got a banjo oh yeah I remember i've had that. it for about a little i think a little over a week like a week and a day nice and uh that's been kind of been taking up all my time um you just you just twiddling on the banjo oh i'm twiddling so hard on the banjo <laughs> uh, no i i played guitar since i was 13 so like there's a lot of it that's very similar, hmm. and so I could pick it up really quick, and uh, it's been really fun to kind of just learn these songs and shred on the banjo. <laughs> Wait, banjo only stream when? Uh, pretty well today. I'm gonna I'm gonna play some banjo on my stream. So oh, there we go. If it, you missed out, you know, go to the last stream. <laughs> watch the vod. Yeah, watch the vod. It's pretty simple. Uh, cool, cool. Uh, you know what? You know what else I want to talk about? On go this? ahead. I want to talk about my Patreon. Oh shit! <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Get it out of your system. Come on, let's yeah. go. <laughs> let's go. Um, but yeah. Anyways, we'll talk about that later. What were you gonna say? Oh, uh, nah. Oh, I just swore a bunch and my brain went blank. I <laughs> just said fuck too many times. and my, I, It's like I hit the reset button. Um, I don't remember. Uh, just, you know, I guess, uh, yeah, I got nothing. This might be an edit point because I'm like, this is just dead air at this point. Oh, uh, well, 
I guess we'll just talk about Patreon then. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I, I mean, because you have you played like I know you've played War of Rights and like Three Kingdoms, but that's about it since you got back, right? Yeah, pretty so, much. There's not a lot of gameplay stuff there. The only thing I could talk about to, for game stuff is I've been playing a lot of single player first person shooters. I replayed Doom from 2016 because I'm excited about the sequel Doom Eternal coming out this year, and. Nice. Yeah, and then I started to replay the Wolfenstein series that was, when did that get rebooted? Like, fucking, uh, oh man, wait, when, uh, this says I played it in 2016, so it might have been the same year? Which, like, damn, if so. Come on. Oh, I'm not prepared for my own podcast, I didn't do the research! Don't tell my wife. She'll get mad at me if she knows I didn't do the research. <laughs> she's really wow. she's really about making sure you're research. Ready. Yeah, like making sure when you talk about stuff, you've done the research and you can like actually back up what you're saying. 2014 is when it came out. Okay. Um, but yeah, so first person shooters that are like more single player story focused. And I'm like, I I also bought and then refunded Turok 2. The remaster that came out a couple years ago for PC. And I was like, you know what? I think Turok 2 is the reason why I like these kinds of first person shooters that are just fast and like just kill things and do like some objectives. Turok 2 doesn't have that much of a story going on, but like Doom and Wolfenstein have like pretty decent stories. Doom, not so much because that's not the focus. It's like kill demons, that's it. Wolfenstein, it's, it was surprisingly emotional when when it came to its story beats um the new order uh i don't i've heard bad things about new colossus the second game which is unfortunate when it comes to story and stuff but uh anyway i was just like man this is just like fast as fuck and violent and gory and just i don't know something about it is just like i'm like yeah i'm back baby i like shooters again where i was i haven't played a shooter in forever even if it's just single player stuff but yeah that's that's about it that's all i got to say about that stuff yeah well i mean shooters are fun yeah shooters are fun killing demons and nazis is great oh you know what i have been playing a new game that oh. is not war rights or total war uh playing the crash bandicoot racing oh crash remastered team game oh. yeah Dude, it's hard as shit. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Like, I, compared to, like, Mario Kart, oh, my God. First off, I'm playing on normal or, like, medium difficulty. Mm-hmm. I can barely win races. It's just, like, I have to fight for my life to win the race. <laughs> I don't even want to know what the game is like on hard. Uh, but I've been playing the adventure mode mm-hmm. where you, like, beat bosses and stuff with my girlfriend. and It's been a lot of fun. So that's cool. Uh, definitely recommend that game. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I have nostalgia glasses on, but I loved that game as a kid, and I feel that the remaster did a good job. They added a bunch of like cosmetic stuff, like skins and carts and stuff, which you kind of have to do. But yeah. um, I thought yeah. it also came out on PC. I guess not, unless there are not. Yet. Oh, it didn't. I don't. It, when I searched on Steam, the only thing that came up was the Insane trilogy. So hmm. let's double check. Let's get the dubla check on Crash Bandicoot. Uh, Crash, not of the Titans. Jesus Christ! I mean, I, it's one of those games that are very like casual. So like, hmm. most people who have a PC have some sort of console. That's true. And I'm pretty sure it's on any console. It's on the PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. So yeah, Nitro Refueled. Nitro refueled. Uh, yeah, so far, um, it just says yeah, Switch, PlayStation, Xbox. Yeah, that's it. There's no. It's as far as I can see. There's no plan of PC portage, which sucks because Sonic it's... Rat Racing actually got a game on PC. A couple of them. Wow. Yeah, there's Sonic. I think Team Racing, Sonic something. I don't remember, but they're actually good games, the Sonic Racing games. So, you know, if you if you're hangering for some kart race in action and you only have a PC that you've upgraded a bunch, check out the Sonic Racing games. I've heard they're fun as shit. 
Yeah. Cool. So, yeah, I love those racing games. Yeah. Uh, we played Mario Kart for the Switch when we went out to California because our friends had it when we were staying with yeah. them. Well, that was fun. Just even... yeah, it's it's fun, but I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Just like content isn't there. Uh, I don't know. Like I, I mean, since we were just playing together, not worrying about like any kind of unlocks or anything, I couldn't. I can't tell. I was just playing to be like, right. oh, let's rest well, each that... other. And that's the point of the game, right? It's yeah. just kind of fun. But, like, I don't know. Just I was a little disappointed on, like, the number of tracks. And there's, like, no special game modes. You just play, you the know. Racing. Yeah. It's just, like, hmm. hmm. Online is just, there's no, like, tournaments online. It's just, like, you get on and race. Hmm. So, I just think. It, but this is such a stupid conversation because I don't really care about Mario <laughs> Kart that much. Just something like I wasn't I didn't feel cheated or anything. I was like, I want my money back. <laughs> I'm the biggest Mario Kart fan and this is a disgrace or anything <laughs> like that. But, I mean, you could be. I don't know. I just felt like they could have done more. So that's fair. But yeah, so. Since, I mean, that's it for me, other than playing Diablo 3 with Allie still, which is fun just because we get to run around and just kill cool. hordes of demons and yeah. get the sweet loot and stuff like that. I, I've realized recently I have very bad uh, buyer's remorse when it comes to video games when I know I'm going to buy a full-priced game when it releases because uh, yeah. the Steam sale is happening. And I was like, oh, cool, there's these games on my wish list that I've wanted forever – I just haven't bought any of them, and now they're cheaper, so let's, you know, let's buy some of them. I refunded two of them as soon as I bought them, because I was instantly like, why did I do that? Because <laughs> fucking, we, uh, the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, which is a sequel to Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 2, which came out 10 years ago on the, like, PlayStation 2, uh, is a Switch-exclusive game that Nintendo was like, hey, we want to make this, and that people were like, shit, all right, if you fund it, and Nintendo went, yeah, we will. So that comes out July 19th, and I know I'm going to buy it the day of because Allie and I can play it together, and everything yeah. we've seen looks exactly like what I want out of that game. It's basically just like a – it's like you have Marvel heroes, you have a four-person party, and it's you just beat the shit out of a bunch of villains, and you do team-up powers, and it looks cool as hell. And it like if you played either the first two games or the X-Men games that were just like this kind of same formula – then you know what you're getting into. It's really fun. I think, co -op I, think games. I played that actually. Yeah, they're fun co-op games because it's just like, oh fuck, cool. I'm Spider-Man, and I have Captain America, and such and such and such yeah, and such. Yeah, different abilities and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. And you get to yeah, just it, run around and beat the shit and it's out of a, bad guys. And does it almost look like a platformer in a way? Not exactly, but like you kind of. It's it, that kind of like point of view. It it has a, like a like not top down point of view but it's kind of like at a like a diagonal to the le, like what is level. it called again the marvel's ultimate alliance one like series and then there's an x-men version as well that i forgot is that just x-men legends i don't remember just want to see some gameplay of it it was legends legends one and two were, yeah yeah this is the game yeah yeah, that was a fun game. Yeah, they're really fun, and they're putting. I'm out... not even a superhero fan. I enjoyed it. Yeah, because it's just it's like oh, you get to play with these like all these characters. They have team up moves together, and it's just yeah, cool. It's as a good co-op game. Yeah, so we're gonna get that when it comes out to play together. And I'm like, oh, I can't. Even though I spent literally twenty dollars on two games, I went, I can't, I can't do it because I know I'm gonna buy a full priced game later. So. Yeah, I'm gonna miss out on another Steam sale, and my wish list will continue to grow without ever getting them. And it's honestly, it's because I know I won't play the games I buy. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck, I can't, I can't justify paying for something if I know I'm not gonna play it right when I buy it. And that's right. the shittiest thing. It's like I, now that I'm older, the way I play games is like, if I buy it, I have to play it. If I don't play it, then I don't want to buy it. Wasting money. Yeah. yeah. It's like if I'm not in the mood, I'm like, oh, I want to play that game right now and buy it, then I don't ever end up playing it. So I have to make sure I actually want to play a game before I buy it now. 
which is a yeah. weird feeling because as a kid, it's like, oh, I got a new game. I'm going to fucking play it right now. It didn't matter what game it was. I, I could yeah. go GameStop. Like, when I went to GameStop with my first paycheck ever, I bought, like, eight games. And I was just like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like Randy. Yeah. Or uh, what's his name? The guy from South Park. Is it Randy? It is Randy. You and he's like, the internet's out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he goes and it's like, uh, there's ghosts. Ectoplasm. Ghosts. Yeah, that's that's you, but with like games. <laughs> or it was. No more. It was. Yeah. I've gotten over my thing. Yeah. yeah. You, I, were you the one that, I think you took me to GameStop that day. Maybe, I don't know. I th- I don't, I'm trying to remember. That was when we like... Man, maybe it was after I stopped working at that uh, the warehouse the first time. I don't know. It, this is this conversations meandering off into just rambles. Conversation. Keanu Keanu conversation. It's just the that's just the conversation with Keanu Reeves. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, you wish. <laughs> well, yeah, he seems to be really nice. Yeah. Um, because like I. All right, so this is going off on fucking Keanu Reeves ta- time now. Uh, welcome to the Keanu Reeves podcast. Here we talk about Keanu Reeves. No. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, so Keanu went out yesterday. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Had no. a cute outfit on, looking cute. He was looking good. Uh, he pet a dog. Uh, boy, it'll melt your heart. I swear to God, it'll melt your heart. Uh, no, but somebody was like, yeah, I, was at, I worked at a – movie theater and Keanu came in he wanted it's like oh he was trying to get him to like like print out a receipt like buy something to print a receipt so he can ask for his uh autograph without being like like I guess this is weirder than just being weird about it and then Keanu was like yeah I figured you were trying to make like you just wanted me to to write like to have something so I could write on so I could give you my autograph so he bought an ice cream he didn't want and like threw it away just so he could give this guy an autograph (laughs) and he didn't like say it like he just came back and was like I figured that you wanted an autograph so here and that's like oh, how many yeah. celebrities have you heard of just being like, "Oh, I figured, you know, you were trying to do that thing just so I could you could get an autograph." I so I came back of my own volition and here you go. I'm going to go watch this yeah. movie now. It yeah. Just, it just He's, seems like a really cool and chill thing to do. There's like a million stories like that with him. <sighs> good for him. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, he's a good guy. No more Keanu like, worship. He's like the ho- ho- one more thing. He's like Hollywood's <laughs> like savior. Eh, I would. I mean, if as you're... in like if all Hollywood actors could be like that, then I, I mean, wouldn't have such a disgusting view on Hollywood. That's fair. I like especially since our friends who live in L.A. One of them is an actor, and he tries to get gigs, and he has like a manager, and he's not like a big name actor or anything, which is unfortunate because that's like his goal is to be you know right. a famous actor or not like famous, but like a you know, a working actor that gets paid to act and not have like a comfortable living. Yeah. yeah. It, instead of having to work at a surf shop and try to get acting gigs. Um, right. But he's like, he hates so much of the slimy shit about being an actor. Cause he's like, yeah. there's so much awful about it, but he's like, but I love acting. So I'm still here. Yeah. Yeah. That's the sad thing. Yeah. But that's how it is. Yeah. Anyway, you, you can even say that about any category of, like, you can say that about YouTube. Look at the top YouTubers. Yeah. <laughs> Some slimy shit right there. Well, let's go, uh, let's go see. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Um, Who's the top YouTubers? Yeah. I mean, I guess I could just go home, right? <laughs> or trending. I don't even want to know. Oh, okay. Well, yep, this is pretty. Mm-hmm. Nope. Yeah. All right. Well, that's not a YouTuber. That's E News. All right. Uh, uh, NBC News, ESPN, UFC. Uh, slimy stuff we got going on. Here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that's what YouTube's becoming. Uh, like late night show clips. Yay! Love that this is in my recommend recommendation. Uh, I don't even ever check my recommendations. Because I just it never actually works the way it's supposed. Like they go off of oh you watch this all right here's a thousand videos on one thing yeah it's I like know. I don't I watched one video dude I don't need that yeah it's like can you have something a little bit more in depth 
I don't know. Like, apparently it works for some people. Like, I've heard things, like, where they talk, like, they talk about the recommendations and how the algorithm works to have people just like, oh, okay, now I get to see this video and that video and this video. To me, it just pisses me off. I'm like, I looked up how to assemble a cabinet once, and now all I got is shit about how to assemble furniture. Make yeah. Come on. Yeah. It's very similar to uh, ads, too. Like... I, I bought this self-cleaning litter box and I get ads for like video ads before video <laughs> uh, for this litter box. I'm like, you got me. I bought it. I don't <laughs> need ads anymore. Yeah, it doesn't make any so. sense. Especially after you buy the thing. I guess there's no way they can know that you bought it unless it's the same company. But even then, the ads, they like ad companies aren't run by the company that makes the product it's just like they outsource it so yeah whatever ads youtube all of its trash the world's burning I mean, we're all gonna be reduced to ash one day whatever let's talk about the elephant in the room the patreon all right um the patreon the patreon so i decided to just share it here early because i'm launching it on the first of july Mm -hmm. so that's in like wow that's really that's coming up so yeah and then, so the, by the time you hear this podcast it'll be like what a day away or something it's about a day or two because this will go yeah. live the 29th yeah so a day yeah um but basically there's a million reasons why i'm starting a patreon um all right and we I, got I, time I, let's do this one all right well <laughs> all right reason number one <laughs> Uh, I freaking hate YouTube and I think they don't know what they're doing in terms of supporting small creators. So my ultimate goal is to be completely ad free and just make my money through Patreon through the community. Um, the reason I want to do this is one, I don't ever have to worry about getting demonetized mm. ever. Uh, and because I do a lot of historical stuff, and I know, like, it sounds crazy, right? Like, oh, come on, they're not gonna, they're not gonna demonetize you for playing a Civil War game. They could. Well, with that whole Vox thing that that came out, they did demonetize a historical channel that had Nazi footage. So they're not very good at deciphering what is actual, like content that is breaking their guidelines and what is like educational yeah that and a uh, youtube unfortunately like especially recently with the first adpocalypse the the vox stuff the stuff that happened a couple months ago where it was found that a bunch of pedophiles were watching family vlogs like yes. family vlog channels to like figure out where children it were in the videos and stuff like they crack down super hard in the beginning and then lighten up but that fucks over a lot of people that don't need to be fucked over which is the yes. worst part it's i mean it's good that they go okay we gotta stop especially with the pedophile shit they gotta like crack down yeah. and stuff but it also hurt a bunch of those family vlog channels because they're like we make our money with these videos like to you know go on vacation and stuff and now a bunch of our shit got demonetized and it's like that really sucks but hopefully that's lean like they seem to like because i think in their eyes it's like oh if we don't go like like hard at first then everybody in every media circle and like journalists right. and everything it's, is going to be like youtube doesn't care about pedophiles being on their site and looking at small children like it's either I mean, that yeah it that, seems like a damned if they do damned if they don't thing and it's like whoever they're fucking over somebody still gets fucked which is the shitty thing right i just wish youtube wouldn't care as much in, in these advertisers that pull out it's all political like we've gone over this a million times, but it's just like they yeah. they pull out. I mean, the, the first adpocalypse or, or maybe the second one. I don't. I can't keep up. But like uh, the one where someone made a video with like racism in it, and there was like a Coke ad on it, and then like Coca Cola and a bunch of these big companies that are all shit companies, by the way. I, you know, like Coke and you know they're all just disgusting products that are killing the American population and other mm -hmm. populations but um yeah they pulled out but then 
you know, you watch the news and there's like a live reporting of a shooting and they do like disgusting five minute advertising. And oh, guess what? This is brought to you by Coca-Cola. It's like, wow, they're totally fine with that. But if someone says a bad word, then all hell breaks loose, you know, but I mean, advertising is completely fucked no matter like just in a lot of situations because it's like uh, why? uh, I don't know. There's we could have an entire podcast about how advertising is predatory and awful in in a lot of different ways. But oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's not why we're here. (laughs) We're well, about yeah, the Patreon. Well, that's one of the reasons why I want to go ad free is because I don't know what people are seeing when yeah. they watch my videos, and I don't support a lot. I mean, the the companies that have a sh- shit ton of money to advertise everything down your throat usually are companies I don't like, and I don't <laughs> want them on my channel. Uh, so that is the. To be fair. A lot of ads are personalized. So some people will be like, I got this ad on your video. And it's like, well, that's because it's based on your cookies and the things you look at on the internet. That's young, that's on you. Yeah. And it's weird when people are like, this video had a thing, like a certain politician ad on it. And it's like, well, what are you doing looking up that politician? Like, that's, that's, I mean, that's but, you. But, but that's maybe because you could be just looking up the politician just to like, understand their points but it doesn't mean you agree with them like well, you're just yeah, like yeah i'm not saying, saying like they're... oh like oh that's your fault or whatever like that you are looking up that stuff that you're an actually a fan of whoever and such and such i'm saying like it's personalized i'm just saying that it's personalized it's like you right if right. you like fucking i looked up something on amazon not too recently just because i was like i wonder how much this cost and then all of a sudden my ads for across all of youtube on like the banner ads and stuff are all of that thing and i'm like okay i get it like yeah i went to amazon one time yeah 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 so so yeah. that that's that's the other reasons one youtube i don't want to get demonetized two i hate advertising i think it's gross i i mean i honestly i don't mind ads hmm when it's here and there and i know i shouldn't be saying this because it is how i make my money as of right now but i'm wanting to change that um so i think those are the two major reasons well we got 999,998 reasons to go all right so other reason number three this is gonna be a long podcast (laughs) we're gonna be here until we until we waste away from hunger Reason number three is I don't have to worry about views as much. I, I don't have to worry about making videos that are going to reach out to an audience that is kind of outside of my audience. I, I can rely on the people who genuinely enjoy my content and want to see more of it. And I don't have to like, oh, you guys want to see a war rights video? Well, too bad. It doesn't do well enough. So I'm going to have to play Fortnite and try to get more views to make more money. Yeah, look, so that we listen here about Fortnite real quick. No, okay, <laughs> I'm not about to defend Fortnite. Oh, okay. they, I, was, they put, I was waiting. I was like, all right, come on, Nico, give it to me. <laughs> now, I mean, they put in a limited time mode that was like team deathmatch, where you respawn and stuff. And I was like, that looks like it could be fun because I I think for, like I like the concept of sh- be a third person shooter like that looks like yeah. Fortnite because I've recently found that I really like not cartoony quote unquote looking games but like non-realistic looking ones i don't know something about the art style is really jiving with me recently but yeah. it's it's still fortnite like it's still they're still you building still build. yeah so i'm just like eh. anyway it's ta- side tangent done there you go i know it's like we're not here to talk about fortnite damn it <laughs> but uh yeah that that's it basically it's gonna give me more freedom to um you know do stuff i want to do and not worry about views as much. I mean, I still have to worry about views as in I want to make sure I'm making content that my community wants to watch. But um, it's just less of an issue. Um, and it's just more consistent revenue. It's just, you know, yeah. like I, I'm not going to have to worry about is it a good month? Is it a bad month? Which is a good and bad thing, you know, because like really good months for YouTube uh, when you use, mo- you know, you monetize on YouTube. Uh, is like November, December, because it's the holidays, mm-hmm. and like that's when you can make more money. Oh, and yeah. if I turn off ads, I miss that. But it's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it because mm-hmm. um, if but- I can just make enough to pay for everything and save a little bit, 
that's good enough for me. Yeah. And, and so. th- 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 that's the eventual goal. That's not going to happen. That's, right. It's going to, it's not like as soon as I launch my Patreon, I'm turning off ads. Obviously it's going to be a gradual thing where it's like, Oh, I got a thousand patrons. I, I'm going to take one ad away from the middle of the video. Oh, I got a thousand more to take another one, you know, yeah. got, 5,000 patrons. Okay, I can do this without YouTube ads. This is great. Yeah, yeah. So that's, yeah, that's the goal. Um, so those are the biggest reasons, um, honestly. So that should be fun. And also, I made sure to make all my perks worth it. Like, you're not just, like, like tipping me money or mm-hmm. donating money, but you're actually buying something that I think is pretty cool. And uh, I guess we'll talk about the perks really quick. Yeah. So I've got, um, I can go to the tiers here. It's loading. Beautiful. Nice, nice. Beautiful, good. beautiful. Thank you, Patreon website. Great. There, oh, that you're so good at filling dead air with n- yeah. not not anything great, useful. Great, great. But. Um, uh, well, another thing I want to mention is that Patreon only takes 8% of total income, Ooh. while uh, YouTube memberships take 30%. Yeah. So if you are a YouTube member, I know some of you guys want to keep that badge, you know, to show all the other YouTube YouTube community people that you've been subbed or a member for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, here we go. The tiers are ready. Uh, so the first mm-hmm. tier is just one dollar and it's called men in arms or man in arms. Um, but this will give you the Patreon feed and some special um special channels in the discord which it's really important that if you do become a patron you connect your patreon with your or yeah your patreon with your discord mm-hmm. uh, also what's the best thing about the one dollar perk is that you will get almost daily pictures of my pig josephine doing cute things so you know of josephine's corner of josephine's corner there you go and that's worth and i said this in the website that's worth at least a hundred dollars alone. <laughs> so, um, the second one is night, uh, with just a few more dollars. You, um, with some five dollar perk, you, um, will get access to a special let's play that I am only sharing with my patron members, mm-hmm. uh, which I'm pretty excited about. And your name will be added at the end of my videos. Just like yeah. so, if anyone's confused about it, the pay the five dollar patron role is a lot. It shares the same benefits as being a YouTube member. It's just we can't give you – like there's no way to be like, oh, you have a badge on YouTube if you're a patron member. Like you get all of the stuff you would get from being a YouTube member. Right. But it's on Patreon. Like it that sounds more confusing than it is. Basically, they share the same benefit. If you're like, oh, wait, I'm a YouTube member. Does that mean I – I don't ha- get the $5. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, you do. You do. Uh, the only thing we can't do, so because what's the next is the next tier the ten dollar one? Yes, but I I want to share the most important perk you get Go at ahead. about. And again, this is gonna be badass, guys. Super, I'm genuinely super excited to do this with you guys. Uh, but there's we're gonna play party games uh, twice a month as of right now. If I can manage more times a month, I will. Um, but I can promise twice a month we will be playing on saturday like party games like you know cards against humanity we'll be hanging out in the discord having a good time having a good laugh um so i'm super excited about that i'm also going to stream it so if for whatever reason you can't get on but you want to watch i will stream it and the vod will be there uh for you guys as well so and they'll um, be that's are you are those going to be just for them like they're going to be unlisted streams that only the unlisted patrons... streams right so nobody else will see it unless your five dollars are up no. uh and if again if you miss the stream the vod will be there and i'll post it in the uh well there's a patreon text chat that's called let's plays and i'll post it in there no. but uh oh sorry you're gonna say something uh mr apollo i have a question Yes. Uh, if I'm a YouTube member, does that mean I get to participate in the community game night? Yes, you do. If you're a $5 YouTube member, which is the only membership price range, you do get to uh, join in the fun so, of the... Yeah. yeah. 
I just want to make that clear because some people might see it's like, oh, you're giving only Patreon things. It's like, no, there's you get the same benefits. The stuff where it's going to where we have a hard or not. We you have a hard line is you cannot be a five dollar YouTube member and a five dollar patron member and get access to the next tier, which is ten dollars. Right. Yes. And the only reason that is, is because it will be hard to manage. It, it, um, it would it, be a it, huge pain. It would in be the a ass. nightmare. And it's not that it's not that I wouldn't want to do that, which I would love to give you ten dollar perk um, if you did five five. But it's just trying to figure that out would be a nightmare. So if you want the five dollar or the ten ten dollar perks, but don't want to spend obviously fifteen dollars, you can just stop being a YouTube member. And just which honestly is better for me because again they take less percentage and better for um, them because they get more benefits you get more benefits that's right uh so the next one is the ten dollar perk which is malord um <laughs> you get well, everything well, tips, oh sorry tips helmet malords <laughs> i saw a meme where someone was like i can't say milady if I'm role playing as a knight because all the neck beards ruined it for me. Or <laughs> well, blame the neck beards. Yeah. Um, but you get all the perks from, you know, the the lower price ones. And my lord is ten dollars. And this one's really cool. Once a month. And again, I, the these numbers are not set in stone. If I feel like I can manage to do more, um, we will certainly try it. But once a month, we will be doing historical movie night. All right, so we will be watching using a program called Watch Together where we can watch videos at the same time, pause, and everybody will see the pause, stuff like that. Uh, we will be doing that once a month. Uh, so it's mostly going to be like stuff on YouTube because I don't think I can do like movie movies um, because of like legal reasons <laughs> copyright uh, so, and all that nonsense yeah so if it's on youtube we can watch it together i even thought that it'd be cool to like watch my videos too this way and just kind of like give you like behind the scenes stuff of like what was going through my head and stuff but mm -hmm. there's a lot we can do with this basically we're gonna watch some and th this will also include documentaries um i think for the first movie night we're gonna do is the napoleon series that came out in like 2000 what two or something like that something like that um and it's like a mini series so we'll be watching that which is gonna be pretty cool so just ten dollars you'll get to have movie night and you'll also so that's three things if you were ten dollars movie night and uh, the party games mm -hmm. so that's gonna be fun the next perk is fifty dollars and now this is for people who are feeling extra generous who have the disposable income. Uh, this will give you everything. Plus, I will announce your name at the beginning of all my videos. Uh, so again, this is how hard I'm going on Patreon and how much I really want to show you guys how much I appreciate, um, you know, supporting my channel in this way so we can turn off ads. I will mention your name in the beginning of every video. So I feel like that's a pretty cool perk. Um, and of course you get everything from the other perks and the final perk <laughs> is a bit more of a joke <laughs> uh, but i wouldn't you know if someone can afford this then hey i mean be my guest if you want this um it is called master and commander of knights <laughs> and it's a thousand dollar uh tier and only one person can be it <laughs> um and it says you are the ultimate commander of the knights of apollo your parents will be so proud that you support a nerd who makes cringe battle videos <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, you get all the perks from the previous tiers and your discord name will appear above mine with the title master and commander of knights on the right side of the Knights of Apollo Discord. So if you guys, I'm sure most of you guys are connected to my Discord. On the right side, you see the different roles. You will be above me as Master and Commander of Knights. Again, I want to make it clear whether you're donating or not donating, but tipping or buying a perk for a thousand or just a dollar. If you do not have disposable income, do not feel pressured into supporting my Patreon. That's the last thing I want. 
Um, the best thing you can do for me is liking my videos, leaving a comment and sharing the videos. So um, anyways, those are the perks. This is my mission. So hopefully. Oh, also, um, I'm going to have a goal. I have a goal. Uh, if we get to a thousand patrons, I'm going to start a new series called Cooking with Apollo, where I will cook historic meals. <laughs> and th these videos will come out like once a month. Um, so, yeah, I think the first meal is going to be like what Civil War soldiers ate on the march and stuff. Oh, I love baked beans. <laughs> yeah, not even. It's like flour, pig fat, and that's it. You're going like to cook molasses. pig fat while Josephine's right outside and can smell it? Look, it's for educational purposes, all right? You're Josephine a monster. Doesn't know. She'd probably eat bacon. You're a could. monster. I know, I know. I'm sorry, but that's <laughs> what the re recipe is. I'm not going to be like, oh, I replaced it with coconut oil. Like, I'm just not going to do that. I mean... Anyways, um, and the goals will increase the amount. So, like, if we get 2,000 patrons, I'll do that twice a month. 3,000 patrons, I'll do it three times a month. So, yeah. that you've is... Ever, that's... You've ever been interested in what Pixelated Apollo can do in the kitchen? Yeah. There you go. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, Cooking historic meals. <laughs> There's going to be a point where you're like, oh, I really don't want to cook this. <laughs> you're going to do it. and you're gonna Probably. Like, this smells bad. <laughs> do I have to eat this? <laughs> well, no. It's your... You make the rules. That's true. I don't necessarily have to eat it. But, like, come on. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> it's it's going to end up like this 20-year-old Crystal Pepsi video where the guy vomits for five minutes straight. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> that I would not do. Well, there you go. No Crystal Pepsis. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so like they had Crystal Pepsi in the Civil War, and here's one from the Civil War. <laughs> there, there, there are people who have YouTube channels where they're like, here's 50-year-old canned meat. Let's see what happens. And it's just like, you're going to die. You're going to go blind, and you're going to die. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what kind of poison exists for if when meat sits for 50 years in a can, but you're about to find out. You're going to go blind and die. <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Well, don't eat any 50-year-old canned meats, <laughs> and you'll be good. I'll I'll go blind and die. I like that. So. <laughs> Just don't eat any rations that are from World War II and are actually from World War II. Uh, someone actually had rations from World War II, oh, but, or actually, and he ate it. Uh, did he go blind and die? <laughs> no, because he avoided the food that obviously went bad. But there was, like, candies and stuff he ate. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, candy. It's Candy's just sh processed sugar. Yeah, they don't go bad. <laughs> I think he ate, like, crackers and stuff that were that, still, like, cookies. Yeah. I mean, I could just imagine how stale that would be. Might be yeah. able to murder somebody with it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> throw it. Throw it at people. Give them concussions. <laughs> Chuck it like a frisbee. Bam! Uh, yeah. But yeah, so that's the Patreon, as I like to call it. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll be making an announcement video for this, like a special video. So uh, you'll see that, and I'll have a link to the Patreon. So yeah. you'll see that on uh, the first. So get your wallets ready, boys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you've got things you want to buy now. Uh, yeah. But also, as he like he said before, everything is subject to change. If you're feeling like something isn't happening enough, and then the reason they like we but we talked about this me and the Apollo one uh, because we wanted to make sure that because the worst thing you can do with a Patreon is overload yourself and have to cut back on something right. and make right. people feel like they're no longer getting what they wanted. So. Being able to start light and fit going, oh, hey, I can handle this, this, and this, like more of stuff, then you can add stuff on. So you might start if you were like, oh, I like the $10 tier. I'm going to do that. And then maybe, I don't know, a couple months down the road, all of a sudden you got a new thing that you get to look forward to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I just didn't, like you said, Nico, I just didn't want to offer the world and then not deliver because I didn't want it interfering with my YouTube. You know, I didn't want to have to miss out on video uploads because I have to do Patreon stuff, which kind of defeats the purpose. Mm -hmm. 
of the Patreon. So uh, I just, you know, I, I still think doing movie night once a month and party game night twice a month is a lot. Mm -hmm. But if I do feel like, hey, you know what? I can do more of this. You will see more. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's that's the biggest announcement since Dead Trek. And hopefully it doesn't go the way of Dead Trek. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't remind me. Uh, hey, but Dead Trek's not dead. Um, oh. Yeah. My brother's actually working with a team of people to uh, make a online version of it. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. yeah. So it still might see the light of day after all. Yeah. Just not in the form that we hoped for it to be. But To be fair, I feel like like physical card games and stuff are m much more expensive than something online. Oh yeah. Just cause like, of all the printing and everything. Well, you don't have to print it. You don't have to deliver. It's just, everybody gets on and plays yeah. and it'll be free. It'll be free. So oh, shit. we we might just put ads on the website or something. Oh, even though it's just like went on a crusade against ads, but <laughs> it's not really, it's not really my project anymore. So yeah. Um, but oh, yeah, God uh if you were excited about that there's a little bit of good news yeah uh, uh is there anything i can't think of anything else this might just be a shorter podcast just for the fact that my brain's going blank um and the i do have to stream goes. in 30 minutes <laughs> so i mean that works then because i'm like i don't know i don't yeah. have any other topics so yeah uh we got we got a josephine's corner how's the little piglet doing i know she's not she actually is... a piglet but you know whatever. no not anymore those days are um, she's doing good. She's, uh, you know, we, we gave her a, a whole watermelon. <laughs> did you cut, like, of, did you cut it open? Well, we you cut just, it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought for and, a second, you just gave her a watermelon. It was like, yeah, I want to see like, what happens when she bites into it. She's like, what am I supposed <laughs> to do with this? Um, but I filmed it and I'll be saving that for the patron. Feed. Um, and it's, it's just hilarious watching her eat this thing. Cause she, we cut the top off, mm. so it was kind of like a big bowl of watermelon, and she would just stick her head in the red <laughs> soft part, and you just hear like, <laughs> <laughs> just like, and then she'll once she's eaten through, kind of like an ice cream cone, mm -hmm. once she's gone through a little bit, she'll start biting the the green, you know, skin part. So the rind, it's yes, that's the word. Ooh, I know vocabulary. Uh, I don't, but. Damn. Well, you you speak for a living, so that's kind of <laughs> yeah. It's weird. Oops. That's an oops. Um, but yeah. Uh, good. That's good. Has it has the weather been kind to her? Has it been nice? Um. Yeah. It's a nice balance of rain and sunshine. So nice. We've actually went from being raining for like a week and a half straight to just sunny and partly cloudy for like a week. Now. Oh yeah. That's always nice. <laughs> oh yeah. Get away. You, can, you uh, can't like, as like the people say, you can't appreciate the sunny days without a bunch of rainy days. Yeah. The only thing Josephine has to deal with are mosquitoes and we're constantly trying to figure out how to kill those things. But really just, mosquitoes like pigs. I don't know. I can't tell if they're biting her. I assume they do, but um we're just trying to think of like of ways to protect her from mosquitoes because you're gonna get a bunch of those horrible smelling tiki torches uh no because i don't know i looked up like mosquito traps mm -hmm. and like there's some fancy ones that just mass murder them but <laughs> you know some people say they work some people say they work only for a certain type of mosquito it's just like ugh. There's no clear answer like, oh, you can get a bunch of plants that scare off mosquitoes and people will be like, I bought it and now it's their home. So it's just <laughs> That's like, not good. yeah, so I'm just like, I'm just trying to get st sitting water out of there and, but they're always there. So, Ooh. okay. Summertime. So, yeah. The pigs and mosquitoes do not get along well. Oh no. Uh, I mean, you know, you're just going to have, you're going to have to follow through and make sure to get rid of those mosquitoes. Why is they carry like special pig disease? Uh, well, no, it just, I mean, it says irritation from biting flies and mosquitoes can cause skin lesions or allergic type reactions in pigs. Okay. Yeah. So, well, I haven't seen anything on her that looks like a rash or anything, but that's good. Yeah. I think she tries to roll in the mud, which helps, but yeah. which is, yeah. Anyways, I'm not going to go on about 
this for too long. If it, if anybody's got any hot tips or tricks, because you ha- are around a lot of pigs, you know, send yeah. Apollo a DM on Discord or something. Yeah. I don't know. Like, hey, slip, in, slip into my DMs. <laughs> slide right into his DMs. Slide right in. And then be like, hey, I know how to help your pig. Yeah. I really hope somebody isn't just like, no, yeah, you should totally buy those shitty smelling tiki torches. Yeah. <laughs> that get, keeps I mean, mosquitoes like, away. If it keeps them away, I'll do it. I but. mean, that's what they're for. They're supposed to, ha- that smell is supposed to be like a mosquito repellent. Yeah. I don't know how true. good they are for the environment, though. So you'd have to look that up. Look, I mean, I don't know how good mosquitoes are for the environment. Uh, aren't they the only pest that exists that if they were to die out completely, nothing would change? I think so. I think so. I remember hearing that and that scientists hmm. have like found out a way to make all female mosquitoes not have like offspring and it could kill out the mosquitoes completely. Yeah, because spiders don't eat them because they're not nutritionally good. Like other like the bugs like they get eaten, but not because any of the animals that eat them want to. It's just kind of like, well, you're here, so fuck it. Yeah, I like bats and stuff. Yeah, which is another way to keep mosquitoes out, where you can build bat homes. Oh, and they kind of. But with your affi- uh, affinity to Batman, I am surprised you haven't been just like, yeah, let's get some bats. Yeah, I thought about it, and then someone told me a story about how they did that in the bat home. The bats got. There's too many of them, so they started going into their house, and wow. then there's bat shit everywhere in the attic. And I'm just like, <sighs> yeah, I guess that's that's the thing you you gotta you gotta make sure of. There's no entryways into your house for the bats. They look. I've seen them. They they just squeeze through tiny little cracks and stuff. So it's just like it's nah, impossible. They really I guess are I just have to get up. Yeah, pretty much. That they're adorable. They're adorable little animals. That's but so uh, great. I just I don't know. Just it there's no like clear solution. Maybe just combine a couple of the solutions. Yeah. Get a shitty smelling tiki things. torch with an electric zapper and something Yeah, I else. don't want the zappers cuz they kill like bugs that aren't pests. That's true. That blue light just yeah. looks like it's just for whatever yeah. it's cracked to those <laughs> insects. Yeah. Just like a bug's life. It's so beautiful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stay uh, away from the light. <laughs> I can't. I'm drawn to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking. They killed that guy. <laughs> that guy. That that's a children's movie. That bug died. <laughs> yeah, but it's a bug, so. Maybe. Yeah, but the whole movie's about bugs. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Their main character's also- an ant. They kill the grasshopper, too. He gets eaten by a bird in the most horrifying way. <laughs> I mean, he's a piece of shit, though. So, like, that's fine. Well, maybe the mosquito's a piece of shit. Yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Was that a mosquito that flew into it? I don't, I don't know. I it was, was just like, a tiny bug. I mean, if he was a mosquito, then, yeah, he was a piece of shit. <laughs> we just discussed there was <laughs> There was a mosquito in the show, though, that orders, like, blood at the bar. Oh, that's right. Aren't they the mm. ones that... No, no. Well, wait, I was going to say, are they the ones that cat call the ladybug, but the ladybug's a dude? But I don't think that's them. That's the flies. That, no, that's the flies. Yeah, because they want the poo-poo platter. Yeah. Uh, puns. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> this has gone on a weird tangent. Yeah. Uh, you got to stream. I got to right. just yeah. hang out. But that's the <laughs> right. podcast. Well, I mean, I hang out for the stream because, you know. Yes, you moder- you're a mod- moderator. I'm a moderator. Uh, moderator. Th- that's the Polishing Podcast, guys. I hope you're excited for the Patreon a portray guy. I, now I'm saying I did that on accident. Like I, before, it was on purpose to pronounce it like that. That time, my brain just made me say it like that. I hope you're excited for the Patreon. There we go. Um, and all those sweet new perks. And yeah, uh, my name's Nico, otherwise known as Nico and Powerful. If you like listening to the podcast, you want to share it with your friends. You can. Get, I forgot that we have ratings. That we have actual new ratings on iTunes, and I forgot to go over them. Uh, like new reviews. Oh. Oh, damn it damn. next time guys uh leave more reviews so that way i yeah. have more to read uh, we promise uh, we'll go over it <laughs> i just gotta remind myself which i'm doing better with uh about reminding myself about chores and such that i need to do anyway uh podcast on itunes stitcher spotify 
uh, Google Play and Podbean's app. If you want to leave comments on the podcast that are just comments and not like a review or anything, you have to install the Podbean app and you can leave comments per episode there. Uh, because unfortunately, it's hard to keep track of every site. Um, but and I still go over the old Polishy Podcast website as well. Though that in a year, that pod that website specifically the domain will no longer be that because I stopped paying for it because it was expensive as shit. Um, but yeah, if you want to share the podcast, just you know let people know about the Polishy Podcast about these two weirdos that talk about games and other shit like uh, AC units and a bug's life. <laughs> There but you yeah, go. I'm Nico Powerful. You can follow me on Twitter at Nico Powerful, N I C C O P O W E R F U L. Or you can look. I mean, I've streamed on Twitch a couple of times. I'm not good at it, keeping a schedule for Twitch because, like, Allie and I like to hang out when she comes home from work. So, you know, follow the channel. It'll tell you when I go live if I go live. It's Nico or Powerful with N I C C O, two C's. And then just all powerful, same as always. And that's me. That's my socials. Throwing it to the other guy. I am Pixelated Catch. Apollo. Oh, okay. <laughs> got it. Um, I'm on YouTube, on Twitter. That's about it. So, yeah. Um, and now Patreon. And now Patreon. You gotta but... have to get used to plugging that one. That's the important oh one. yeah yeah. But uh, yeah, that's that's it, guys. So. That, that's the podcast. Hope you have a good rest of your day, morning, evening, whenever you listen. Stay clean, stay polished. No, oh, I don't have to say it. Oh wait, that damn it, that's your that's line. my line. God bless. <laughs> you say God bless. I say stay clean, stay. What we're, we're reversing it? You're saying God bless. All right. Well, God bless. <laughs>